Hi, welcome to the WE7 module on linear programming. Now we've already talked about linear systems of equations and all semester we've been talking about computer programming. This is related to both but the programming is not specifically computer programming. Programming is a word that is used to describe optimization problems as well. And the problems we're going to study in this module are linear optimization problems. They involve linear objectives to be minimized and linear constraints to be satisfied. Linear programming is a really important optimization problem because many problems in sciences and engineering can be cast as linear programs. And there are efficient methods, usually implemented on computers, to solve even extraordinarily large scale programs. I'm really excited to teach you in a short time what a linear program is and to give you access to some code that can solve some. Let's get started. The easiest way to start is with an example. So let's revisit the diet example that we introduced in the linear equations module and add a few new features. We'll have again m types of food f1, f2, fm and now we'll add their prices p1, p2, pm those are unit prices. The foods supply nutrients, but there's also daily requirements associated with each of those nutrients. So nutrients N1, N2 up to NN, and daily requirements R1, R2 up to Rn. Finally, there's the nutrient value per unit of food amount. We already saw this. Vij will be the amount of nutrient Ni per unit amount of food Fj. So, for instance, maybe $0.0042 per gram of oatmeal. That's a price. The daily requirements for protein might be 65 grams. And one gram of oatmeal provides one-eighth of a gram of protein. So there's concrete numbers for all the elements of P, R, and V. The diet optimization problem is to decide the amount of each food type to eat while satisfying the daily requirements and minimizing cost. The decision variables, and that's a term that we'll use throughout this module, are the non-negative amounts of each food to eat. That's what we need to decide. That's why they're called decision variables. A1, A2, up to AM. And of course, as mentioned, these have to be non-negative amounts. Let me introduce some mathematical notation. The expression for all appears a lot of times, so let's write for all k as, and then I have this v with a line through it, k. So that symbol means for all. Next, we need to meet the daily requirements for all of the nutrients. Here's an inequality that states that the amount of nutrient i I get from eating amount a1 of food 1 and amount a2 of food 2 and all the way up to amount am of food m must exceed the daily requirement for nutrient i. That's ri. So this inequality must hold for all i, i equal 1 to n, the number of nutrients that we're tracking. Remember that the choice is how much amount of each food to eat, the choice of the a1 through am. There's a cost of that choice because the foods have prices, and the cost is simply a summation of each individual price times the amount. So that is the diet optimization problem. Decide the amount of each food to eat while satisfying the daily requirements but minimizing the cost. Let's express it with some matrices and vectors. Let's write the decision variables as a vector a1, a2, up through am. These are called decision variables because we decide the amount of each food type to eat. Next we need to meet the requirements. That can be expressed involving matrices and vectors and an inequality. Let V be the array, arranged like this, of the amount of nutrients per unit amount of food. Let R be the vector representing the daily requirements for each nutrient. Meeting the daily requirements means satisfying this inequality. Let's see exactly what we mean. V is an N by M array. A is an m by 1 vector. That matrix vector product is an n by 1 array. 
R is an N by one array, and to meet the requirements for each nutrient, we need every element on the left to be greater than or equal to its corresponding element on the right. So we have an N by one vector here, an N by one vector here, and this greater than or equal means it must hold element wise. Every element on the left must be greater than or equal to its corresponding element on the right. And that expresses satisfying all daily requirements. Cost of the choice of the decision variables, the unit prices of each food times the amount eaten summed up over all the foods. This can be written as an inner product, nothing more than P transpose A, where P is the known vector of prices. So there is minimizing cost. We'd like to make that small. So to summarize, we need to choose A such that N linear inequalities are satisfied, all the while minimizing a linear function of A. Let me summarize this on the next slide. The problem data is the prices of the individual foods as a vector, the dietary requirements of the nutrients as a vector, and the nutrient value of individual foods as an array. We need to choose non-negative amounts AI of each food to eat to satisfy the dietary needs, that means exceed the daily requirements, but minimize the total cost of the food. This results in a formal optimization written like this. There's a linear cost function. Minimize over the choice of amounts of food to eat A, the cost, P transpose A. That's a linear function of A. Subject to many linear constraints, VA greater than or equal to R really expresses M linear combinations of A's must exceed prescribed values. Also, each of the individual A's must be greater than or equal to zero. So these are vector inequalities which must hold element-wise.